Hey, Fitchy here, back at the game with another one. Look what I got made. I got the full quarter panel made for this 49 fleet line. I made it out of old scrap steel I had kicking around. I run into some troubles. I never used templates and it bit me. But I got it done. I had to use the English wheel on this one here and I also used the cotton butt. So uh, stick around. Okay, so let's get started. In the last video, uh, I went and installed this panel and got that all clued up. So the next thing we're gonna go at now is we're gonna make this quarter panel section here, okay? Uh, I'm gonna make the entire section here and uh, basically make the rolled edge here, the rolled edge here, full flat panel. There's gonna be an arch on this here and there's gonna be a skirt made for it. But what I'm gonna concentrate on now is actually getting the quarter panel made with the wheel arch in it and then we're gonna make the skirts later on because uh, the problem with this, I want to get the both quarters done and I want to do it in at the same time so when I does this quarter I'll do the other quarter and then I'll do one skirt and do the other skirt do it like that so what we're going to do here now is we're going to make the actual quarter panel for this car now you could run into some issues here uh, it is an actual crown panel it's not a flat panel so it crowns this way and it crowns this way so I got some English wheel work to do uh, I want it to flow along here and I got to figure out where everything's going to go. I'm not worried about the cutout first. I'm just going to make a great big panel to go over this. So I'm going to extend these down as far as I can. Same with this one here. But I want some to flow through each other. I'm going to run some tape along that now to see what it looks like. To see if the flow on this here whole side looks right. And then I can actually start making the section from here back to here that rolls in underneath that welds on. I'll install that. And I'll do the same up here. It's very hard to make this upper section with this lower section. I'm trying to simplify this and do it in sections. So I got a piece here, piece here, and then I'll make a large section here that I'll cut out of uh, in the section here because I got an idea that I want to do. I want to incorporate the same type of lip into the skirt on the back side of this, but it's going to be extremely low. So it'll just, you know, it'll just put a bit of accent to it and it'll flow with this line that's on the car now. It'll come up and it'll flow along here and go down. So first thing I'm going to do now is uh, basically size up and put some tape on this here to figure out uh, what I'm up against, if this is low enough and if it's going to flow right. So I've been playing around with it. I got the tape running along the bottom side of it there, trying to get a flow to it. I think it's a pretty good flow. Uh, it's kind of hard to, it kind of looks like it got a little bit of a bump here, but the flow section is pretty straight here. So I'm hoping that it's just going to flow down there and it's going to be broke up with a skirt anyway. So... I'm thinking, because by rights it should be round like this, but from here to here it just goes straight. But I think the flow from here over to here works out pretty good, right? I played around, I thought the wheels were centered in the back of the car, and I measured them all up, center line from, say, the door edge. I haven't got a lot to measure off of this, right? Very hard to get a measurement off of this car. There's no square edges on nothing, and everything's been modified. Like, when you look at this here, everything's been cut and grind, so you don't know if this door's back an eighth of an inch or whatnot. So I'm roughly guesstimating where it was to using a half a dozen measurements. This body line here, this body line here, measuring back to the center of the wheel. And playing around with it, I pretty well got it on both sides. I thought the rear end was back farther on one side. I didn't want that to throw me off. Uh, I did notice I compared it to my car. And my car got a longer wheelbase. And so I got to figure... I got to realize that when I goes to put the wheel arch in it, I can't use the measurements off of mine because the wheel is centered in mine. And of course, my quarter pounds were made too, roughly, but they're made. And uh, oh, that looked disgusting there. I look at that every day. But anyway, uh, the measurement from here to here is longer on this car. And this wheel arch is centered. So basically, I'm going to duplicate this wheel arch on that car as of right now. And that's the idea we're going with and uh, I'm going to just basically center it in the wheel because I measured this up, this looks to be centered in the wheel, so that's what I'll go by, I can't go off the car, I just go off the center line of the wheel. So I got that all figured out, so I know what I need to do. So I gotta come over here now, and what I got to do now is I gotta build this lower section down here, get the rolls all straight away so I can start building the outer panel. So I'm going to, uh, this looks to be straight here, so I'm just gonna take a piece of metal now, cut it off and just roll it. Now all I did is I cut out a piece that was too wide, too long. I'm hoping that when I get this done, I can cut the end off it and use this section in the front of the wheelhouse. 
And all I'm doing here now is I'm over here in the pipe anvil and I'm going to roll the uh, edge of it here in around. So basically this panel here and this panel is on 90 degrees so this is going to roll on it. That's all I'm going to do with it. And I'm just going to guesstimate it. I'm going to see how close I can come to making a fit and I'll work it as I need to. Small roll seems to be what I'm after. So, a bit more on that. I'll go and tweak that, test fit that now, and tweak that a bit more, see how close I can get it. That was pretty good. Uh, just went for a quick test fit and I just had to tweak it a small bit. Now, playing around with here, it seems a bit high right here in terms of, well, low, if you want to say, it, because the way it's going, but where it's overlapped, I figure when it drops back, it should flow better. But it looks pretty good, like when you look along it like that there, it's got a nice flow coming down and going straight forward like that. I'm going to cut that off about right here somewhere now. But before I go and do that, I'm going to make another one for the other side. Each piece that I make, I'm going to turn around and make it for the other side, so that way I got two. And that way I got the pieces already made for the other side. Instead of going ahead and making this piece and putting that piece in and making this piece up and then go over and try to make this piece for the other side. That way I'll have an idea of how the shapes are doing. I can keep both sides looking the same. You see the little gap and everything that's down there now. Going right along there. That's the bottom of it. And that'll spot well down from the bottom side there and it'll be welded on there. And I'm just all I'm going to do is I'm going to make this piece up, make this piece up and install it and weld it on the car, finished. And I'll turn around and... Uh, Basically, butt weld it along here and plug weld it on the bottom side here, and that's all I'll do. But I'm going to leave it long so that way I can trim it off after the fact because I got to put a wheel lip on it and also got to figure out where the wheelhouse is going. I know for a fact that it's not going to be up this far, but it's going to be back here somewhere. But it's going to be between here and here, I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to just cut it off about here somewhere and basically uh, take that piece then and use that up front and work it, see if I can make it work. So I'm gonna go ahead now and make the second piece for the other side, cut this one off and start fitting the front section. I went ahead and I bent up the other side and got that done and basically duplicated so it was the same as the, uh, the one I had made. And then I turned around and I marked it and I cut the two pieces off. This metal here is 18 gauge shelving is what it is. I recycle a lot of metal. Uh, this was a large panel, it might've been a cabinet of some sort, I don't know, but I have a, a bunch of sheets of it. So, and they're 18 gauge, and this is the stuff I'm using, and uh, a lot of times when I use this stuff, I try to leave the white on it, because that's an actual powder coating on them, and I'll only work the ends and stuff like that. The outside I'll strip, but the inside I'll leave alone for protection. Uh, some questions were asked of me on uh, the last video. Uh, these are the cutting wheels that I'm using. Okay, 364 maximums. I get them at Canadian Tire, I buy packages of them, they're always on sale. Um, they're not uh, what I call a high quality cotton wheel. Um, they, I just find that for the amount of money you pay for a cotton wheel, uh, these last just as long and I don't have no problems with them. I buy them by the 50. Every time I go at them, I pay 20 or $30 for 50 um, cotton wheels and most times you're paying two, three bucks for one cotton wheel. Uh, how I clean my metal uh, for grinding and stuff like that, I do it all with these 24 grit uh, grinding discs. There's a number of different ways to do it. This is how I've done it now for 30 years. I use a little air grinder to do it. And uh, I've used these here. I really like these. and make It's fast. If you know I talk about fast a lot, being a bodyman, having to get cars ready for years. I kind of got myself into a habit of trying to find fast ways of doing things, but do a nice job on it at the same time. And these may be a bit aggressive for some, some like 36, some like smaller discs, uh, but this is what I use. So I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to strip this one off here on the outside and get it ready. Get the holes plugged in the bottom of it uh, so that I can turn around and start getting ready to mount this piece on. But I'm not going to mount it on right yet, I'm just going to put it on so as I'm a cleat goes and ready to go. Now I got the metal all cleaned up. 
And what I'm noticing here now, this is really flat in this area here, and these have a very slight concave into it for the panel to, to work proper. Uh, I'm looking at it as I fit it on the car and it looks really straight. So I'm gonna run it through the English wheel. I have a large, uh, like a pretty decent crown on the bottom, and it's got a bit of thing. I won't get carried away with it. I'll just put uh, so much on it. Just enough to give it a bit of a crown. I'm finding that when I roll this here, this kind of went like this on me. So I need to uh, work on getting it to roll back this way a small bit. I'm no professional at just weaving stuff. I wing this as much as I can. Here we go. It's hard to see, you can see the nice little crown on it there now, uh, going along it. So I do have a bit of a crown on it, and that's what I like to have on it. I'll probably put a little tiny bit more in the end of it there now, and we'll go full length with it. You notice I just rose the center up, and then I worked on the other end, so. That's basically it, simple as that. I got a nice little crown in the panel there now. I can put on the car. So I went ahead and I trimmed up this piece and got it fitting good. The entire roll is totally different than the roll back here. Uh, when I went up and looked at my car, it's the same thing. The front is a real shallow roll, the back is a sharper roll. Uh, so I had to re-change uh, the shape of the panel here and then I start shortening it and dollying the end of it I'll show you that in a minute. This one back here. I wasn't happy with it because it had it almost me When you look at this section here, it almost had this going on. Okay it Had a turning like this here and I didn't like that look and I played around when I put it in English wheel But I still couldn't get it. I end up shrinking the um, the bottom lip and then I end up dollying the uh, hammering into the panel trying to get this crown I was going to split it and build the bottom and the top but I said I'm going to play with it first see if I can get it I'm happy where it's to there now I'll take it out and show it there now so here's what I ended up with uh, I ended up having to shrink you see it down along here shrinking this panel here I had to get this to turn a small bit uh, played around with it and done it to get it going and I found it was more or less pushing this away but it did work a small bit I ended up having to hammer into this then down into this section here onto the bench here and stretch this area in here because I didn't like the way this was looking down along here okay you can see there's a small crown out there now but I found this was too flat on the roll up here was good but on the roll so when you look down the car kind of had this thing going on so I play around with it, dollied it up, dollied it up, and then basically stretched this area basically in here where I just hit it with a hammer on a flat surface. So all I did was I turned it upside down like this on the bench and hammered down into this here. And by hammering into this here, I stretched them panels here and the metal had to go somewhere so it went away from it, right? So when you lay that down there now, it's almost got a uh, rocks back and forth on it, right? That was that one. I'm pretty happy with that. Now these are extremely long, okay? I'm not going to cut them off yet. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the wheel well is way back here somewhere. Probably even back as far as here. But uh, I'm going to trim this off this length here now just to give me a bit. I want to leave it alone. I want to trim it up when I go to trim up the quarter panel. It's no good me trying to make this right first and try to get the quarter panel to fit this. I want to be happy where the quarter panel opening is going to be at. So that's what I'm going to do there. This one here, as you can see, totally different shape. Okay, the front section. I cut it down. I had to roll the end of it here. Uh, right on the very end of it and I just used that Tapped it on the end of it because that turns off on the back side of it and starts rolling up around the back of the panel and uh, So I got that figured out now where I'm happy with that I'm going to uh, trim them up and trim that one up now so I can get ready to mount two of these I figures I'm going to mount two of these permanently on the car finish it have it done I haven't got to worry about it later because I have no intentions of taking this off the car and I'm going to weld my quarter panel to the outer edge of this section here so i want to make this part of the car first so then i haven't got to worry about it so i'll get them all trimmed up and ready to install so i went ahead and i trimmed this off the length i went and cut that much off it and then i went ahead and i marked the bottom side of it you can see it here still this is really it, the panel here goes to and i went and uh, poked holes in the bottom of that with my hole punching tool okay 
And so I'm gonna go down now, fit this up in place. I'm gonna go uh, weld it up along here first, and I'm gonna weld this on. So I ended up doing the cotton butt up along there, okay? And just took my time welding it, cool as I went. And then along the bottom there, I just plug welded it. Uh, before I done that, there was paint on the thing, and I cleaned it out with a drill bit. Right, the broken off, the cut off drill bit that I uh, talked about in the last video. I cleaned all the paint out of there because the, this panel here has been painted on the bottom side. So I turned around and I went and I welded all it up. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to grind all this up and have that one finished. And what I'm going to do then is up here where I welded it, I'm going to trim that off so it all looks like one panel. So there it is. All welded in place. All grind up. All the bottom there done. So now it actually looks like one piece going right along the whole back side of it. Now I got a spot to come along here and I'll weld to and do the cotton butt along there. I'll trim this off up here, the same thing, and I'll clean it all up so it's just an equal opening all the way around. So when I does the cotton butt on it and you look inside the panel, you won't see all these jotted down sections. You'll just have it just continuously be going right around the entire panel. So now that I got that one done and that was ready to go, I'm going to move up and get that one straightened away. So I got that one welded in. I had a bit of trouble down here at the bottom. I had to put a piece in there and uh, it was like it was mangled from working on it and welded and really thin so i put a piece in down the bottom and then i come up and i done the cotton butt and put that piece in there that looks pretty crude the way it is this here still has to be trimmed off the shape and this here has still has to be shaped and i got to continue with this pipe to come out into the, the skirt itself i'm not worried about none of that yet all i wanted was this section here look see the way that flows right there and i wanted it to flow this way as well you know around there so i got both of that I'm good to go. I'm going to grind it up now and get that one ready for the full quarter panel. There you have it. I grinded all that up, got that all dressed. Then I went ahead and I cut the section off the quarter panel coming up along here so it was all even. And then I cleaned everything up and grinded it all down. Uh, there's a section here on the floor that I cut off the quarter panel. There's one section here, you might have seen it. This is where the original gas tank door used to be at. It used to open up sideways like this here. Someone welded it up. I wasn't getting into it. It's a pretty decent job done on it. Uh, but as you can see now, there's my layout of my quarter panel. Okay. Now, what I want to do now is I want to make a panel to go over all this and cover all that in. I'm going to be putting a wheel lip down on the bottom side in a skirt, like similar to what's done to this here, uh, on the back of it. So this will flow back and go into the lip and then go down and fade out underneath the back of the car. But what I got to do first, I got to make the full quarter panel. I want to make it all, and then I'm going to cut the center out of it for the wheel lip. And then I'm going to uh, basically put lips and everything on it. But for now, let's get a panel to fit there. So I ought to get another sheet of steel now and get started. So I went out in the parts van and picked up another sheet of this 18 gauge paneling. Uh, I have no idea what it's for. It's got three edges on it that are folded over. So it screwed something together. It wasn't a shelving, but it's 18 gauge. And it's about uh, 30... 32 inches wide, I'd say, by, I think it's about six feet or five and a half feet this way. So it worked out all right. I need the full length of the panel. It's so gonna cut the ends off it. And I need 22 inches, which is there, for the whole panel there. And that'll give me enough room to go from there up to there, and from about here back to the very tail end of it here. Now I will trim it when I get it on, but I cut big, like I said before, I cut large panels and I cut the feet. I don't fool around trying to make templates and cut that up there and cut it up there. It's got to be all cut off anyway. So whether I cut it off here or on that there, where I know is I can actually get the exact what I need. Because once I put it up in place, I'm going to put a couple of clicos on either end of it so the panel is sitting there and I'm happy where it's too. Then I'm going to start marking the panel so I can trim it to fit. And I'll get the panel cut out to fit in place. And uh, what I'll do then is if I'm when I'm happy with that, I'll probably make another one for the other side. I'll test fit this on the other side and see how it fits before it does any wheeling work. Right? So I'm gonna go ahead now and get this here cut out. And there you have it, one completed quarter panel. <laughs> I don't think so. Just put a bit of a blend down or she'll be fine. We'll put a 57 shed wing on the back of her, there you go. Anyway, I got the piece cut out and it was tricky putting it up there, getting it in place. I dropped it once and then I got the corner bed off it. But it doesn't matter because I cut that off anyway. Now that I got it where I want to, I can see how it's going to fit, okay? And I can see across the top is pretty good. It's pretty snug across the top. And even down the back side here is pretty good. But now it's going to need to be brought out in the middle, right? Bowed out, whatever. 
But now I'm going to start marking this with the marker so I can trim it back to get it fitting where I want it to fit and uh, get a lot of this wastage off so it won't be so big and bulky. I'll have a look here now and I'll come down here and I'll mark this off here and I'll cut that off and I'll cut this off back here. And I'll probably even trim off the bottom side here and the bottom side here. So there's what I got drawn out. Nothing fancy. Just took a marker and just eyeballed it. I am within basically like the original cut panels are still in here where the cut panel goes. So there's still lots of room. I still got two or three inches on the outside edge out from here into where I got a cut. So I'm just going to blindly cut that so it looks presentable looking. And same with that one there and this one here. I'm not going to bother down here. Just leave that hang down for now. And I'm going to uh, get them trimmed off and then do an art test fit. Oops, I fooled up. Time to start over again. That's it. That happens. I don't know what I was thinking there. The, uh, the way the quarter panel goes, it kind of goes back farther and down. And I was guesstimating it from the top side, but I guesstimated way too much. That's fine. That stuff happens. So I'll just get another sheet of tin now. Start over again. That will not be wasted. Well, I went out and got another sheet of tin, and I got it all marked out here again now. And over here, I knew I had to come up here an inch and a half here. And then this is uh, this here was on the metal, and this here was on the metal, so I just went a little bit past it, and I just drew an arc that way there. I got it there now, I think. This is my template. <laughs> uh, I know I wouldn't have been pausing if that was a, a, a sheet of bot steel. Like, all this is recycled stuff that I've after picking up and giving to me, so it's not cost and anything like there wasn't any loss here now granted that metal would always be used but uh i know you would not be happy if that was a brand brand new sheet of steel and you cut that up and did that with it because i don't think you get two of these out of a uh, sheet of steel because right, they're fairly big they're uh, 22 inches so yeah 48 you should be able to get two out of it yeah but anyway i'm just going to go ahead and i marked it out and i drew out along it there I marked it out so I can just cut it all out with one cut, save on zip blades. So I'll get that all cut out and try it again. So I went ahead, I got the second piece cut out uh, from the mistake that I made from the first one. Uh, now, the biggest thing I got here now is I already had it mounted. I had three locations I had mounted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece here, lay it on top of this piece here, and then I'm going to drill one hole. Put a click on it, drill the second hole, put a click on it, drill the third hole, and put a click on it. So that way the holes are in the same location on both panels. So I have the old panel laid on top of the new panel, and I got the holes here that were in the old panel still here. So I just want to take a drill now and start drilling them out. Just put another sharper drill bit in that. That's all you do is do it one at a time. Make sure to line up pretty good. Do it this way, it should line up with the holes that you have drilled in the car. Three of them put together the same way so I can just test fit that one on the car. Now that's much better. I don't know what I was thinking there. But I got that straightened away, and now the next step to this here now it still has to be trimmed. What I want to do is I want to get it to lay flat or get the fit better on the on the uh, the machine itself. I gotta put a crown on this. It has to have a crown the full length of the panel. And I want to do the whole works for it all at once in a large panel and I can trim it to fit after the fact. And But what I'm going to do before I even start that, I'm going to take this side here now and go over and fit it on the other side and hang it on the other side. And I'm going to make another one of these. Um, doing both sides, I'll take it to a certain degree where I'll actually make the other side first. Uh, because it's going to be very hard to duplicate one to the other 
unless you use the template from the other side. So I'm going to take this one here now, test fit it on the other side, and then basically uh, mark that out. I've brought in another sheet right there. Man, I got some wastage here, don't I? That'll all be used. But I'll mark it out on that one there, and I'll uh, drill it out and have that other side. So I already, I'll have a panel ready to go on that side. So I'll get all that done. When it comes back, I'll have the two panels done. When cutting steel, a little trick. Uh, to make these wheels last longer, when you're cutting the metal like this, you don't put the blade down into the metal like that to cut it, okay? When you do that, you're going to burn up the blade, and it's not going to last this long. You only cut with the bottom side of the blade here. That's what you do. You will see it. Because you'll actually see the dust coming off of this more on either side of it. I'll show you. This is the cutting it from just the top edge. Okay, that was just cutting it from the top edge. There is no uh, residue on either side of the line. Now I'm going to cut this one deep. residue on either side of it that residue is the blade wearing out okay so just have it up high don't go going down deep with your blade just cut it with the bottom of the blade and you'll find the blade will last a lot longer so there you have it all i did is i took the one that i had on the other side i brought it over here and i put it where i thought it should have been and i drilled the three holes and i, I mounted it under i ran a marker along the edge of it so i had an idea how much material is in behind it and then I turned around, I took the panel off, went over on the bench and cut out the other side and then used the other panel, laid it on top of this panel and drilled the holes for the Clicos and mounted it. So now I have two quarter panel sections made. And uh, so that way that steps are done. I got two lower rocker sections made, one installed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to come over here now. I'm gonna start shaping this panel to fit on the car. So I'm going to go off my old black car because I've got quarter panels on this car and i got something to go by and it's all finished. Sorry for the background noise, they're doing construction work down behind me. Uh, but uh, as you can see, it's not a big crown on these, right? If you look at along it, it's just this gradual crown this way and it goes this way here. It's the same thing, right? It's a very slight crown, goes through all that. So I haven't got to worry about making a big crown on it. So I just got to raise it up a bit just so that it's on the, the high side. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we're starting off with a flat panel. And what I got to do is I got a wheel. Put this on the English wheel and I got to wheel it out. Yes, I got to use big fancy tools. It's a big panel. Okay, but I'm using a recycled piece. This white coating on it, I'm leaving it on it. I've already played around with it uh, in another video and it will uh, wheel with the paint on it. So uh, what I'll do afterwards, I'll grind it off afterwards. I find it helps protect uh, from marking it up too much as well. Uh, it's a bit more work, I think, but um, if I just grinds it all off, I can't see the crown on the panel. I gotta dress it and do everything with it, and you know me for dressing metal, so. <laughs> but in order to wheel this, I gotta look at this, like if I just start running the English wheel back and forward over the top of this here now, I'm just gonna end up getting a whole crown and the whole works of it. I gotta look at this from the shape that it is, okay? This crown, this got a crown over exaggerating it this way and over exaggerating it this way, okay? Now, basically the easiest way to show you is that basically the center here has gotta come up higher than what's around it. So basically I gotta start doing this type of thing all around it, okay? And basically go right out around that there like that. So I start in the middle and I wheel it, and then I wheel out past that, and I wheel out past that. Now the, the crown goes off the front more, so by rights all this should be more forward. But I need to wheel more in here than I do out here. So that each time, when I make a pass across this here, through the center here, that'll bring the center up, and then I'll bring it up, go over the whole works of it here, that'll bring this up, but it'll bring this up more, and do the same with this here, going back and forth, that'll bring that up even more than this here. That's the concept. From what I've uh, I've learned and looked at online, do not use my uh, English wheel abilities as cotton stone because I'm a rookie at this. I don't have a lot of experience with uh, using an English wheel. 
I wing it as best I can. I watch what other guys are doing and uh, I turn around and uh, make do with what I got. So uh, that's the process that I'm gonna go through there now. So now the biggest problem I got with a panel like this here is it's almost a two-man job. So uh, I was watching Carl over at Make It Customs and uh, he made a table for his, but uh, look at me, right? Uh, do I make stuff and fancy and Carol done a beautiful job on that table and that English wheel But uh, so I kind of winged it old school Here's my table <laughs> My old trusty I-beam I just clamped it into the vise and set up the wheel in front of it So now I got somewhere for it to fall off on the other side when I'm wheeling it and it'll actually go on to that there So it should work. Okay, right? I see Carol's very proud of my table <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start trying to wheel this now. So there's the wheel that I'm going to use, the lower die. Uh, I have a couple of more there that are pretty big, and I think they're too much. And i got a couple of smaller ones, and I don't think they're going to be uh, big enough. They say you should creep up on it, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to wing it here now. Probably end up having to do this panel again. <laughs> but anyway, this is what I'm going to start off in here now. I'm going to start wheeling this section in the middle here and start working my way out. Um, instead of following this line here, I'm going to bring it right out to the edge here when I get out to this point here And I'm not going to go to the edge up here, right? Because uh, I want to Because um, the panel actually the corner panel actually comes up this way more so the crown has to come into into this here, right? So let's see if I can uh, Make something to this now Well, she curved it, that's for sure. I'm gonna have to watch it, because I noticed that it, uh, it did it pretty quick. But uh, you lay that on top of that there now, and there's an actual, like so. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start test fitting that on the car, seeing what it needs to be wheeled to. It seems like to me it's gonna have to be wheeled more out on the either ends, on the outer edges now. I don't think I need to touch the middle as much more, more now because if I get into the middle here now, I'm going to raise it up too high and I'm happy where it's too there now. So now I got to work on working on the outer edges of the panel. So it's starting to come around. I managed to get another cleat going in it with no strain on it. So uh, from what I can make of it, I think I need to wheel it in along here, along the section here, and along the lower section down here. I'm going to have to wheel it. Try to get it to roll in, but I can't. I don't, I'm not going to touch in the middle no more because when I look at that there now, the straight edge, I think that's pretty well in. in the middle. I'm going to lay that in the middle there now. I got roughly much the same as what's on my other car, see? And then when you do it this way here, you can see that it goes a bit flat on the top side of her. So I need to bring this up a bit here. So 
I figured the wheel the top side now, wheel the bottom side, and work my way around it. Back here in this corner, it's low here. I know that, I can see that. That gotta come up, so. Every, do it a little bit at a time. But uh, I'm noticing that it uh, it moved a lot. So uh, that, I was pleased with that. I was concerned about how it was gonna be very hard to get that. And my little table worked deadly, didn't it? You proud of me, Carol? <laughs> anyway, let's turn around and uh, get this off and get some more wheeling done on this upper section here and see how I can make out with it. Well, uh, I got into it, and I just wanted to stay at it. I was concentrating on it, uh, watching what was going on. I figured it was one of those things where I don't even know what I'm at, so it's no good me explaining to you what I'm at when I don't know. But uh, I played around with it. I got the shapes going. Uh, it's a tight fit. It's strong. I can guarantee you that. It doesn't move, I can tell you that. It's got a nice flow to the back of it. The way it flows up is going to flow this way and it flows this way. It's pretty decent, right? I'm pleased with it. My English wheel, as you can see, uh, doing it by herself, it leaves marks. And I think it's just rolling off the edge of it. Uh, a lot, like I said, I'm not uh, a professional wheeler, so uh, I'm just doing this, winging this as best I can. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. The way it fits is pretty close to where I want it. And it's the shape that I want it. Uh, next thing I want to do now is cut it out for the skirt and put the wheel opening in it. My plan here is, is that I'm going to clean up these edges here a bit more, tidy up the round edge so it's ready to be do the cutting butt on. And I'm going to tack weld it to the car all the way around just temporarily so I get the shape of it right. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw out as some sort of uh, wheel opening here that I'm going to... Uh, Design. I'm going to take the one off of my car. I'm going to make a template of that and just lay it up against it and see where it's to and uh, draw something to that. And uh, basically, when that's all done, I'm going to make the wheel opening. And once the wheel opening is done, I'll take it off and weld the inside of the wheel opening, finish that off. Then it'll be ready to install. But um, I find for me to do the wheel opening, this is going to have to be welded on. But I want to take it off again to weld the inside. So there's a bit of work involved in it. But I think it'll uh, be worth it in the end. So I'm going to go ahead now and clean up around these edges here and uh, get this ready. I'm going to mark the center line where I want the uh, center of the wheel opening uh, with the tire and whatnot. And I'm going to go around and start tack welding this in place. If you're an embodiment growing up in the 70s and 80s, this was your best friend. Well, that made short order of that. I can tell you right now, money. That's after doing some work for me over the years. I bought that out of the trunk of a car off an old guy looking for money for a bottle of rum. <laughs> Way back in the early 80s. It's amazing, right? I still got it. And the only thing that's ever gone wrong with it, it's probably been, that's probably the second cord it's been on. But the rest of it, works best kind. But uh, I've done that more than once. Grinding off panels, having to repair them. But uh, I got that on there now. And it was a bit tricky getting it on there because the panel was a bit twisted. But as you pushed on it, it all took shape. It was weird how it was going. So what I got done, I went and tack welded it on in place. Put good welds on it. So it's tack welded all the way around. Now I'm going to be letting this go again, taking it off. But I want it there because I want to do the arch first. And I want to take it off so I can weld the back of the arch. Okay? So, like, you know, it fits pretty good down along the bottom. But on the side there. It's amazing when you look at it, too. Uh, like up here, you can see where I had the marker, too. That's, ha that's how much the panel pulled when you shrunk it. 
when you wheel it right same back here look I marked it earlier and then basically when I wheeled the back panel she pulled it enough that that's how much she moved it but it's got a nice crown on it now it's not the best uh, wheeling work you're ever going to see um, like I said before and I'm finishing this off it do have uh, edges and stuff like that in it it's a very solid panel right it's got no no tin can effect going on nowhere and it's very solid right I can lean on that put me fish down it that's how solid that is but what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make a template of this one here on that car there I uh, get a piece of cardboard and make a template yes I said template so all I did, tape down a piece of cardboard on the side of the car uh, and it wasn't big enough so I taped another piece on it and then I turned around and I went back and I creased it all the way around, you can see the mark there where I creased it I'm going to go back now with a razor blade down and cut that out and I'm probably going to tape another piece under this here to give it a bit of strength because there's not much down here before it takes it off, so get that cut off now Now I took some random measurements, I measured from the edge of the door to the edge of the cardboard, marked the line, give a measurement there and a measurement there to the edge of the door. And then what I went and did is I took a straight edge and went along the straight edge there, kept going straight till I hit the door. And then I put a uh, straight edge on there, or a 90 degree square on that, and then I marked it over so I can get at it. And basically I measured up from here to here and I come out with 12 and 8. Now they're not precise numbers. But they'll give me an idea, and a lot of it is going to be, because the whole back of this here was all made too, so it'll give me an idea where to go. i got to find out the center of this here now and mark the center of it so I can mark it in the center of the wheel of the car. Because I something tells me i got to move this back because the wheel bases are different on both of these cars. So let's see where this takes me now. So this is what i got put on here now, and I played around with it. These measurements here, from here to here, are different on this car than they are on mine. Uh, I guesstimated at the height and it was a small bit off but I did uh, make the bottom of this go to the end of the roll on the car so I done the same thing here and I had to bring it down a small bit it's kind of hard to actually go off something to say measure from here to here to here to here and that type of stuff to duplicate it I think what I got to do is be happy where it was to uh, this is the center line on the other car and I'm this is the center line on this car so that's how I done I straight I set it up so it was center line. And when I put it up there, I noticed because I marked this, this off the square off the other car. But when I put this one up there and I had this line drawn across here, uh, I noticed this line was crooked. So when I put a straight edge across here and come up on a 90, it just uh, had to tweak it a bit in order to get it right. So what I'm going to do here now is because I got this here figured out, uh, I'm happy where this is too. So all I got to do is make sure that the other side is the same as this. It's kind of hard to figure, okay, this got to be this way, this got to be that way, this got to be this way. To me, this is a visual thing. As long as this looks, it doesn't look like it's cocked too much, it doesn't look like it's cocked too much this way, right? The visual of it all looks good. This rolls down underneath it here, and over here, this rolls on to the edge of it there. So it seems like it's, um, the height is right here, and the height is right here according to these quarter panel sections. So 
there's not much more I can do than that. So what I'm going to do here now, I got this marked out. I'm going to mark some measurements on it, so I'll, I'll be able to take it to the other side when I, I'll be able to use it. And I'm just going to sit down and basically take a marker and mark that there now, and I'm just going to blindly cut that out there. I'm curious to see what this panel is going to do now when I take the strain off, because there's a bit of strain on this panel in spots when I cut this center section out of it. So here goes nothing. Been looking at it and sizing up and it didn't seem right so what I ended up doing is I took a measurement from the front of the door to the bottom of the door and I got into my old pinstriping days of running stripes down cars and I just ran a piece of three-quarter tape to full into the car and I kept looking at it to make sure that the three-quarter tape is perfectly straight and uh, kept looking at it and sizing it all up and then now I can compare to this there's something wasn't right and you can tell here this here seems high and this room seems low, so I'm not fussy with that. If you stand back and look at it, you can see that the uh, the wheel opening doesn't look right. So I'm going to have to readjust that to use that measurement that I got there. Because I took two points right here and right there, which are the same on the bottom of the door and the bottom of the door is straight, so... Gotta go according to that. And when you stand back here, look down across the tape, right? And you line it all up. It all seems pretty good. The quarter pound throws it off, and you gotta look at it at a couple of different angles to get it. So I think I'm gonna change that. It didn't look right to me for the way it was, but I think that stripe there, if you look at it, you start eyeballing it up along the base of the windshield or the windows here, and down along the rockers. And you go along there, it seems like it's a good reference line there now. So I'm going to adjust what I got done here now, see if I can make it look better. That's much better there now. Uh, I moved it down, I dropped it down almost a, a three quarters of an inch on this end here. And I had to change everything, move it all forward because I wanted to keep it this distance here the same. So I kept lining it up and then I drew my new center line and everything on I had to change everything on it. All new measurements, found a new center line, new measurement from the door, so... That's it. I wasn't happy with it. I'm content with that now. That's a lot better that way. It's a bit of an illusion there because it comes up and then it falls off again. So it's kind of hard to actually get a good measurement. It's a visual more than anything else you can get. But when you look down at it now and you glance over it, it looks good. So I'm going to go ahead now cut that one out. So I got the section cut out, and now that I got the section cut out, you might have seen it there, it was starting to move on me. The shape of this has changed now because I've after reliefing the center section of the panel. What I've noticed here now, you can really see it here better, when you look at it this way here. The panel it looks to be okay up here in front, that's where I want it to be, but it's tucked out high right along here. 
and I'm also noticing there's a bit flat along here. Now, I don't mind this so much because I can get that after. What I got to work on is getting this section here to sit proper. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start letting go the welds on this now and see if I can move it to get that shape to it. And if not, I'll have to take the whole panel off and have to work the panel to get it to where I want it to go. But uh, it's getting, it's close. Uh, I expected this to happen. Uh, like I said, I'm not uh, no professional when it comes to wheeling panels. So uh, what I got done is, is a bit high in this area here when I wheel it. I wheel it too much. Um, I'm not going to get into rebuilding this entire panel if I don't have to. I'm going to try my damnedest to work this panel and see if I can make it work. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go spend, uh, God knows how long, but uh, I'm going to go spend some time now at uh, letting this go and fitting it and see if I can get it to fit better. So I went ahead and I took the entire quarter panel back off the car and I didn't like the way it was shaped. It had too much of a bow in it, one corner and stuff like that. And I started experimenting on the English wheel. I said the worst thing I can do is fool it up. But the more I played with it, uh, the better it came out. I had a few ideas. I'd done some things that... I normally don't see. Um, I had a large crown on the back side of this here, and I was saying, how am I going to get the large crown out of it? And what I ended up doing is putting the flat wheel, the smaller wheel, on the bottom of the English wheel. It's pretty well flat, and uh, it's a very slight crown on it. And I ended up turning the panel backwards and uh, rolling it the other way. Now, I've never seen people do it before, but what it was doing, it was taking the roll out of it, uh, I just say it was stretching it the opposite way or whatnot. But whatever I was doing with it, I found it, it was helping, okay? It was making the panel fit nicer. Like this panel now actually fits with very little effort all the way around this now, okay? I played around with it. I had to bring it up a bit here. I had to rise it up here. I had to bring it up a bit here. I ran that through the English wheel. And then I had to work on the wheel well. And I had to work on this tail section here. Had this had to come in a small bit. Uh, I'm quite pleased with where that's to there now, Okay. When you look down the side of it here, it's got a pretty decent look to it, right? When you're looking down it, it looks pretty good going up along there. And uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here now, I've been sizing it all up. I'm going to leave this cleat going onto it. I'm not going to weld it back on yet. And I've noticed and I've figured out that from here, right around here, going right down to about here, that entire wheel lip is square, okay? It should be flat on these. So what I'm going to do, the bottom side is a bit different on the front and on the back. So I'm going to make them separate. But I'm going to cut a strip out now that's got a straight edge on it. That's probably one inch wide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it right there on the car. I was thinking about taking it off and laying it on the bench. But I found when you weld it, this up here will all move. And then I might tweak it some more. And where this is clamped on now, it should hold it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and tack weld a strip of metal right along there. And using the straight edge to make sure that it's straight. Because I do have some spots that is like tipping in here, right? And by using the, st the straight edge, I'll be able to tack weld it on, come up along here, and then I can pull this out if I need be or whatnot for each panel, that, each piece that I'm doing as I'm going along. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut a strip out now, get the measurement of it, and have it so that I can actually weld it under. So I went ahead and I found a piece. What I'm using here is this stuff here. I collect, anytime I come across any amount of steel, I'll collect it up. These were corners off cabinets of some sort, lockers or something like that. And you can see they came in packages and there was a uh, abundance of them. There's another bunch of them there, right? And I collect them and hold on them because you never know when you're going to use them. What I wanted, I wanted a perfectly straight edge. Like, you know, trying to cut a perfect edge out, straight edge like that out is very hard to do. I could probably sit down with a grinder and a, a straight piece of angle iron and do all that. But I said, it'd be a lot easier if I just had something to start with. So I went and cut up a piece, as you can see, this is what it looks like, okay? And then I cut it in half, and then I marked it out, and gave myself a bit of extra length, cut the end off it so it wasn't so long, and then I grinded it up, cleaned up both sides of it, and then I ran the edge of it that had a coating on as well, uh, through the grinder on the um, wire wheel. So I can actually, didn't want to touch that with the grinder because I didn't want to upset the edge of it because I wanted a nice straight edge that I could weld to. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here now and start welding in the middle. I'm going to curl this up so it fits in there and start working my way to the end. If I start on one end, it'll got a tendency to walk in or out on you sometimes. When you start in the middle, you can actually start bringing it back either way because you only got to go this distance. You haven't got to go all the way back to here, see? So I'll start in the middle. I'll uh, make sure i got enough access front and rear, and I'll put a tack on it, and I'll start making it fit all the way out here, and I'll use the straight edge to make sure that the quarter panel is flat and level all the way along.
As you can see, I just started from the middle and started working my way from one end to the other. And I got it all put in place there. So you can actually see how it works. And it's uh, worked out pretty good because there was a couple of spots there the panel was in and out and stuff like that. And by you having the straight edge to do it, it came out nice. And then when you stand up here and look down the side of the car, it has a nice appearance to it. The actual quarter panel looks great. Got a nice straight edge now to go off of to put anything down to, to build from. But what I'm going to do here now first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to weld this all up solid here on the car like it is. Because I don't want to go disturbing none of this here until this is fully solid welded. Then I want to take it off and then I'm going to weld the inside of the panel all the way around. And uh, that way I can actually grind the outside and get a nice crisp edge on the outside lip. And there's lots of structure to it, so it's nice and strong inside that piece there. And then I can sit down and start fitting the panel on it. And then I can start doing the cotton butt in around here and have that panel finished. So there it is, all welded up. All I did is one spot weld at a time, okay? You might want to turn around and try to start welding a half an inch or three quarters of an inch, but I've learned in the past that just causes headaches. It ends up warping it all up and everything, just one spot weld at a time. Just keep going back, spot weld, spot weld, spot weld. Cool it off between each roll. Now that I got that all welded up, what I'm going to do, and that's after cooling down, uh, I'm going to turn around, take the panel off the car, lay it up on the bench, and I want to weld the inside of this here. And I'm going to trim off the bottoms of this as well, because I'm going to make the bottom separate. And uh, But I'm going to weld all the inside of this up before it does anything else. So haul it off, and I'll get that welded up. So there it is, I got it hauled off. You can see it on the inside there now. It's pretty good penetration there. But I'm going to put another bead in there to make sure that I got the... Uh, Lots of meat on the outside so I can grind it off. I'm going to cut two of these off here and both sides. This side here got turned down and so I'm going to cut it where I stop welding and I'll uh, join that on after the fact. So I'll go ahead now and get that all welded up. I'm going to do the same process here. Spot weld, spot weld, spot weld, spot weld like that and just keep going with it. I'm not going to try to run beads as much as I want to. Uh, this is critical here because this is very easy to transfer the heat up into this here and warp all this up here. So I'm going to take my time and weld that up. there it is all the inside is all welded up I'm gonna go over this now give it a quick rub over to get all the slag and everything off it with the grinder get that ready and then I'm gonna grind the other side of it and have that done So there you have one wheel lip, all grinded up and welded up on the inside. You can see how nice and crisp that line is there now. I never bothered to round it off so you can actually see it. You do it this way so then you can actually see where your wheel well is not straight or if it's crooked or something like that. Well, all I did is I grinded all this side flat here, okay? And I grinded all underneath here flat here. I never done this roll over the edge. I just kept it flat here and flat here and grinded it off. And you can actually see your actual line going right along there. I got a couple of spots here that I got to be welded up and I'll grind them up again. But that's basically it. I'm going to leave this night as wide as it is now for the time being. So I can um, give something to because I don't mount the skirt to this here. And I may have well have brackets to the back side of this yet. So it gives support for the, uh, the skirt itself. But uh, that's basically it. Okay, you can make a lot of panels like this, doing it this way here. You can make full wheel lips, everything, one piece at a time, grind and dress it and add to it and whatnot. This was a simple one because it's a flat panel on the wheel lip, and it's just a slight crown. I never got into heavy details on the English wheel part of it, okay? Uh, I'm a rookie at that, and I'm still playing with it. I'm still learning from it. There's a lot of really good... YouTubers out there that explain English wheel work a lot better than I could ever, okay? I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to get this mounted back on the car. 
and basically what I'm going to start doing now is, is tack welding in uh, onto the car. I'm going to tack weld it along this side here, start in the middle and work my way out like I've done on all the panels. And down here I'm going to start down this corner and work this way and push this side off here. I got to cap these ends, but I'm not going to worry about them right yet because I got to do the cotton bud along this here now. So I'm going to get that panel hung up and uh, get that welded in. One last fitment to size things up to see how everything's fitting. Everything's fitting good there. I got it all put in place in Clicos and looking around at it, looking down the sides of it. It looks good when it looks down the side of it. It's a nice wheel lip, right? A nice shape to it, right? Nice and straight. It's got a nice crown to the panels. So I'm pleased with that. I was a bit worried about it that it was, you know, I was going to have troubles with it or whatever, but. This is one of the reasons that this car here was never ever finished because I didn't like that was one of the first pieces I ever put in that car You probably all noticed it uh, It's extremely rough and I never liked it. I made it out of 22 gauge metal and It broke looking so I wanted to do this concept with it do a nicer job on the quarter panel So here we are doing this one. So I'm gonna go ahead now and start in the middle here Going back and forth, tacking that along there, along that side there, down there, and along the bottom. Once I get it all tacked in place, I'm going to turn around and start doing the cutting butt. I'll start up here on the top and start working my way from either side there to work my way out to the outer edge of it so I don't get tangled up myself. So. There it is, all butt welded in place. Run your fingers down across all them there. Nice fit. Think one's nice down along there. You look up alongside of it. it. All flows to the side of the car. Come down here and look at it this way. Actually, see the way the new panel and the old panel flows together. Right on down through. I'm pleased with it, I can tell you that. And down the bottom there. You seen the grinder there going and it bind up. You know you're getting a good fit when it binds up. What it's doing is when it cuts through the inside layer, the outside layer and the inside layer squish together, and then it then and it basically bites on the blade. So you got to be very careful that it doesn't bite the blade too much, right? Uh, it goes through. It's harder on blades doing this, but you'll find that you'll end up with uh, a near perfect seam every single time, right? Going along there, but I'm pleased with it. All I'm going to do now is the same process as before. I weld every inch. 
And then basically go back, cool it off, well every inch, and just keep going. Well, there's a good hour's worth of work. Taking me time. Or would I say an hour? Probably 45 minutes, I'd say. But the, you take your time with this, it just makes less work for you, right? Because, you know, you're not dealing with warpage. And then when you try to grind it when it's all warped up, it's kind of hard to grind off. Just take your time. I've always found that uh, right here, this part here, when you start doing this, if you take your time here, everything else is going to be nice after that. But if you rush this, you're going to make yourself work even harder after the fact, right? So I got that like that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grind all that up. Now you've seen me grind many times before in the last video and whatnot. I'm just going to go and get this done because I've been at this now. The day's getting late and I want to finish this up. So let's get this grinded up. I got it all grinded off and I gone back and I done some touch ups on it. So I'm gonna go ahead now and go back and finish them off and grind them all smooth and finish this panel right off. So there it is, all grinded off, all finished up. I got two more little things I gotta do. I gotta go down, I gotta cap these off down here. The end of the rocker there and back here. So I'm gonna make up two little pieces there now. To finish this quarter panel right off and weld them in. I'm not concerned about the inside as of yet because I'm going to have to trim this back. And when I make the skirt, I'm going to design all that because I got to put plating systems in that down there and I figure out a way. So I'm going to leave a lot of lift down here on both ends. So I got something to play with that I can probably clamp to and uh, figure out a design for it. But for now, all I'm going to do is finish off the outer edge here and put a lip that goes in past that there and do the same thing there. Okay, I went through my scrap pile and I found two scraps of steel. And I took them over on the car and I marked them so that they butt up against the car right nice. And I just marked the outer edge here. And this is the front section here. I marked the inner edge here. Now, I'm going to leave this bulk on the inside of the car. Later on, I'm going to have to trim it down for an actual wheel lip and all that. But I'm going to leave it there for now. Because when I put the skirt on it, I might be able to use this somehow for mounting the uh, actual skirt itself. Same with back here. So it'll just be welded across the top here. And then basically weld it on the outer edge, and I'm just going to leave this bulk there for now. So I'm going to get two of these cut out and cleaned up. All the years I've always talked about making stuff cordless and I can tell you I don't try this stuff. You look at this here, I got the ear hose, I got the extension cord and I got the MIG welder in one knot right there on the floor. I done that on purpose, I don't think so. But I dies at it every time I go using tools and I always end up getting this knot on the floor and it's like you don't even try it and it happens. God love cordless tools. So there you have it, one piece down there and the other one over there. I'm going to leave them like that now and I'll trim them up when I goes to make the skirt and everything. I got something to mount to, I can actually use it to clamp to and stuff like that. But you can see, nice flow down around the back of it, going up along, going down the other side. So that's the completion of one quarter panel. Now there's still work got to be done on the inside of this. I got to close off the end here and the wheel wells and all that got to be straightened away in it. 
Uh, I'm going to do all that later because I was going to do it now, but the problem I got is I didn't know where a quarter panel was going to fit, so I'd soon build the wheel well out to the uh, actual uh, quarter panel itself. And uh, I'm going to haul the rear end and everything out of the car to do that metal work, but I'm not going to worry about that till later. Uh, there's a bunch of work I'll be done on the bottom side of this car because they never ever, they weren't too fussy with how they done it, and it's pretty crude, but they got done. So I got to tidy all that up. But uh, this is where I'm going to leave this one here. Um, you know, it was just a simple cotton boss. I used an English wheel on it and basic tools for the rest of it. Um, the English wheel, again, uh, something I'm still uh, trying to get used to. I don't use it a lot. Um, I don't get chances to do big panels like this. And I can guarantee you, if I had to have a roof section off a 60s car, I would have made this quarter panel a lot faster, and I would have used the roof section to make this quarter panel. That's why you used to see me in a lot of my older videos uh, using a lot of crown panels. Uh, most of my time spent on this panel, uh, making it and installing it, was doing the English wheel work, okay? The actual metal fabrication, the cotton button, all that type of stuff didn't take me that long. It was just a matter of getting that panel to where I liked it in the English wheel. I went too far, I had to come back. So, you know, it was one of those things. I'm quite pleased with it, how it came out. More than pleased with it. Now I know when I attempt this one here, what I'm up against. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I really wanted to take this job on, was because of this. Because that there has always annoyed me, that quarter panel. And that's the reason why that car is up on the rack and not on the floor being worked on. And so, I turned around, like this job came along, and I said, I can get to make the quarter panel. So I get to... Uh, see what it's all about and what I'm going to run into. So it seems like something that's going to be pretty simple to conquer. So uh, I got to make a skirt for this as well, but I'm not going to get into that. I got to make the other quarter panel. Now, if you guys want to see the other quarter panel being made, it's basically the same as this. Just drop it in the comments below. If not, I'll go ahead and I'll make the other quarter panel and have that done. It's basically the same as this, same type work. Um, you know, it's just repeating the same process again. I don't want to go putting the same thing out there twice So that's usually why I'm just doing one quarter panel, but just let me know in the comments below uh, Anyway, I'm gonna leave this one here. I hope the tips were good and until next time